Welcome people, um, I'm going to launch a satellite using the uh, cap flyer method. Uh, first of all, basic satellite, we have three dishes here, uh, one and two are my directional antennae and, and yeah, solar panels. I'm going to take this up using a pretty shallow uh, set profile just to uh, showcase the method. Yeah. First things first. Right now it only has a range of 20 kilometers because these babies are retracted. So let's extend them and we have uh, 8 megameters instead. Uh, use the flight computer to keep orientation facing upwards with the surface mode. Throttle up about a third and fire. For about a height of uh, five kilometers, let's say. It's going to be a pretty early uh, turn, but just am uh, doing this to be efficient, just to showcase how we actually use the flyer method. Yeah, let's just do that. So now we have a pretty decent apoapsis, but it's over here. Can you see? It's over here. Pretty soon we're gonna go below the horizon and we'll lose the signal. So we won't be able to tell the probe to do anything once it's here. So that's uh, why we use the flight computer. We set up a maneuver node, circularize, ash, uh, take some readings. We're gonna need a delta V of let's say 305 meters per second. So we put the throttle computer into delta V mode, set it to burn a full throttle, and 305 meters per second. And our burn window will be in seven minutes, seven seconds. So let's just say seven minutes flat, send. Now, this is counting down and we've already told it what to do. So it will keep counting down, even if we lose the signal, it already knows the flight plan but it doesn't know which way it should be facing. So we put the attitude computer over here in maneuver mode. So it automatically tracks the burn vector. And the neat thing is actually, uh, now things are done. We can remove the, uh, the node here. Everything's stored inside the flight computer. Good, we're gonna lose signal real soon, so I'm gonna e extend the solar panels. And why not just extend these uh, dishes here? Should, we should be golden. Oh, another neat thing about the flight computer, it actually automatically drops out of warp when you need to do a burn. So I can just leave it going on physical time warp, hands off, and it starts burning. And there, there it is. We have a circularized orbit and um, no contact, but we will. And time warp around. Go back to KSC. Over KSC. Don't think we have enough fuel for a deep orbit, let alone a landing. 
Come on. There it is. And that's, well, pretty much it. That's your first satellite. 